what was meant to be a seven-hour journey between Johannesburg and KwaZulu-Natal for Katie Stubbs and her family turned into a 29-hour ordeal because of heavy snowfall. We were traveling down to uh, Hilton for some school water polo and cricket tournaments and um, we ended up having a sleepover on the N3 in the snow with a whole lot of other South African motorists. Um, freezing, beautiful. We kept trying to see the joy in it, um, but it was also freezing and quite an adventure. Snowstorms in KwaZulu-Natal are rare but not unprecedented and caught hundreds of travelers completely off guard. We were deep, deep, deep in snow. But we were worried. I mean, walking, we had no cell phone signal where we were. There were so many motorists around us, lots of truck drivers, but lots of smaller cars with, there were people in flip-flops and, and shorts without many warm jerseys, and it was really cold in our cars. Emergency teams were swiftly mobilized, but help only arrived on Saturday afternoon. It was very difficult, firstly, because of the poor visibility. Even the helicopters could not be used and the tow trucks could not be used to access the vehicles. But added to that now is the, is the mist, which is there. Therefore, it's not easy. It, these are very, very difficult uh, weather conditions. Despite several weather warnings, the province had not anticipated the storm's intensity. We have to become more agile as a country. The severity of the weather conditions as they happened over the past few days and the more frequent occurrence uh, are forcing us as government to ask the difficult questions and to be more prepared in future for this type of things. Rescue and recovery operations are still ongoing. The N3 toll route remains closed to incoming traffic at present. The province remains on high alert. Judy Shara, CGTN, South Africa.